everyone, it's Whitney and I am so excited because I am doing my September favorites. It's always like a really fun video to do and I always get so excited because I get to get all my favorite products for the month and share them with you guys. So if you guys want to do a video response to this, I would love to see what your favorite products of the month were. And if you don't make videos, please leave me a comment of your favorite month favorite month of the product no favorite product of the month like what was the product that you could not live without the whole um, month of September and I'd love to read through your comments and I love trying new things out but anyways I have quite a bit of stuff it's not in any uh, specific order so it's kind of just random so I'm gonna go ahead and jump on into it so the very first thing is an eyeshadow that I seriously have been using since probably high school. It's kind of a really neutral color, so when I first started wearing makeup in high school, this was one of the approved eyeshadows that I could wear, but this is what it is. It's called Cover Girl, and it's champagne. It's one of their professional eye enhancers, and it's just a really beautiful champagne color. It's, um, I'll swatch it for you guys, but that's what it looks like on my middle finger yeah it's really shimmery not too shimmery it's just got kind of a I don't know what I'm trying to say I do this sometimes when I make videos it's shimmery but it doesn't have any glitter in it really nice if you don't want to wear a lot of makeup you can just stick this all over your lid and um, blend it on up and you're ready to go you can put on some mascara and eyeliner and I don't know I really do like this eyeshadow it's a go to eyeshadow for me. Next thing is no surprise. I'm sure you guys already know what I'm going to share with you guys. It's the Urban Decay 24-7 eyeliner in Zero and I love this stuff so much. It's an amazing black eyeliner and I wear clear contacts so I have to have an eyeliner that's going to work well on my waterline and this one doesn't really mess with my eyes really and I really do like this one. It's really pigmented, lasts a long time. Next thing is the Urban Decay 15th Anniversary Palette, and I've done quite a few tutorials with this, and this is what it looks like. Um, so if you guys would like to check out those tutorials, I will have them in the down bar, and you guys can go check them out. But this palette is really nice. It has lots of different colors, and I don't know, I really do enjoy Urban Decay eyeshadows. I find that they are really pigmented, and I don't know, they have a really good color payoff is what I mean to say. So I really do like the Urban Decay 15th Anniversary Palette. Next thing is the foundation and I don't know I'm really quite picky about foundations and I know a lot of people like this and a lot of people don't like this but it's the Revlon Photo Ready um, and it's in 003 shell. I'm missing the top to it right now but um, that's what it looks like. I love this foundation so much. It gives me that kind of dewy look and I really, I don't know, it's kind of a holy grail foundation for me. I don't know why I love it so much, but I do and it's just a really great foundation. I just like it a lot. Next thing is the Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye Little Quad and I find myself using this if I have to get out the door really fast. If I want to do just kind of like a brown smoky eye, I will just you know throw this on in a hurry and they're really blendable and I really do like the Bobbi Brown eyeshadows. The next thing is actually from Target and it's by the Up and Up brand. It's just their cotton rounds and I've already used like half a thing of these but I'm seriously obsessed with cotton rounds lately and I love using these number one to remove my nail polish because it seems like you can just put on um, the fingernail polish remover and then it just like wipes it in one wipe so I really do like that and it's it's just amazing for taking off your eye makeup which leads me to the next favorite and that is the Clinique Friends Off Eye Makeup Solvent and I have this is like a deluxe sample of this and I seriously love this stuff so much it does not burn your eyes it's not oily it's uh, not like greasy or anything it just really helps to take off your eye makeup so what I like to do is I put a little bit of this on a cotton round and basically I just put it up against my eye for a few seconds and you can just like basically wipe it away and it just does an amazing job so I'm definitely going to be getting a full size one of these because I love this and it doesn't make your eyes sting I don't know if I told you guys that or not 
And another one that I'm loving is by Boots. It's the Soothing Eye Makeup Remover. And I love this too. It doesn't burn my eyes and it's really gentle. And I love it. While I am talking about Clinique, I have another deluxe sample of the Liquid Facial Soap in Mild. And this is what it looks like. This stuff is really, really nice. It really takes off your makeup and you don't really have to wash your face twice, which I usually do, but um, this just really takes off your makeup. If you're really tired, you don't want to wash your face like 85 times, this definitely will get anything off and I really like it. Next thing is a mascara and I'm seriously obsessed with this mascara. I use it seriously every single day and it's the L'Oreal Carbon Black Telescopic Mascara. Now when I first got this and I tried it, I was like what the heck is this? Seriously, because I don't know, it's so weird. It's like, it's like sharp little um, combs and teeth. It's like sharp little teeth on this thing. And at first I was like, what the heck is this thing? And I tried to use it and the first time I used it, I have to admit that I wasn't like seriously obsessed with it. And then I used it a few more times and I was like, gosh, this is a really good mascara. If you want your lashes to be really defined and you want them to look, I don't know, just not like spider lashes or sticking together, this mascara is the best mascara from the drugstore and I love it and you guys have to try it. It's just, it's just fantastic. I can't say enough good things about it. The next thing is a concealer. It's the Revlon H Defy. This one is in light medium. This is another thing that I use every single day. It's like holy grail. I have to use this. It's a really nice drugstore concealer and works amazing underneath your eyes and it works great for covering up like sits or redness or pimples or anything like that. The next thing is a shampoo. It's the John Frieda Sheer Blonde Color Renew Tone Restoring Shampoo. It's basically a purple shampoo. If you have blonde hair or blonde highlights, I can really tell a difference with this. It just makes my hair brighter and um, I don't know, you don't have as much brassiness. So I really do like this. And the very last thing is the Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser. Now when I first got this, I told you guys, seriously, I hated it. I was like, I don't even know why I bought this. It's the biggest piece of crap I've ever seen in my life. It's don't get it. Now. I have found something that I love to use this for and it's for the days that I don't wear makeup and I just want to wash my face because you know I have a combination oily skin and combination oily skin, combination t-zone and kind of oily skin so days that I'm not wearing makeup I like to wash my face you know like twice a day so I really like to use it. It's really gentle. It feels really nice on your skin if you're using it on your face that has no makeup. Maybe um, you know you do it in the morning and it just feels really nice. It's really creamy, really gentle. It's not going to take off your eye makeup. It's not going to take off any makeup. Really? Not really. You're going to have to wash your fa face like seriously 110 times if you want to use Cetaphil to take off your makeup. So it's not really for that but it really does a really nice job of kind of just like washing your face if you have no makeup on. But I really do like that now and uh, just use it on the days that I'm not wearing makeup, but those are my favorites, and um, I hope you guys are having an awesome day, and I hope you guys are having a great October so far, and I think that's about it for now, and I will talk to you guys really soon.